Hey guys, today I'm gonna make a Keith Haring rug. Here's the image that I found on Google. I'm gonna project it onto my fabric right over here. So you might have noticed that I reflected the image. That way I could trace it onto here because this is the front of the rug frame and this is what it'll look like on this side because the rug gun that I'm going to use, if you haven't seen before, it shoots into the fabric and then the yarn gets shot out through this side and this will be the front of the rug. All right, the tracing's all done. Now here's the rug gun that I use. You can purchase it on my website, imakerugs.com. It cut and sews yarn into the fabric, which I'll be showing you guys in a second. But you put the yarn through this loop right here and then this other hole on this needle. And then you push onto the fabric and it cut and sews yarn into the fabric and it makes a rug like this. And these ones over here. Okay, here's the rug gun again. You can purchase it on my website, imakerugs.com. As you can see, the yarn goes through here and here. And all you have to do is push evenly onto your fabric and push the button and it cut and sews into the fabric now let's see what it's gonna look like on the right side of the rug here it is nice and fuzzy here's what it looks like when i'm cut and sewing into the fabric with my rug gun So the black is all done and honestly this thing is looking really clean look at the back side this is what the rug will look like the black looks pretty thick right now but once i add extra color into these creases right here it'll all condense up and look like it should look so the blue is all done let me show you guys the back really quick all these little bits and pieces are going to be cut and trimmed off so it'll look a lot cleaner. But the original image has this guy as yellow and then this guy's orange and then this bottom part's purple. But I'm going to go ahead and switch it up because I like grays more. <laughs> Gray and blue a lot more and it'll just go with my house a lot better. So... I'm gonna go with this light gray for one of the characters and then this other gray for another character and then this is gonna be on this bottom part. And hopefully it looks nice, but let's go ahead and do that. So something pretty interesting about this Keith Haring art piece is my girlfriend gave me a sticker of the same drawing the day we met each other about four years ago. I gave her a figurine I made out of resin of one of my art characters and it was numbered 31 out of however many I made. I think it was 100. Well, little did I know 31 happens to be her favorite number, which I thought was pretty cool. It's weird how things like this happen, but it's really awesome at the same time. We live together in our own house now and things have really changed for the better since then. Now it's time to put the glue onto the back of my rug. So this is the glue that I use. It's called AAT1132. I think the website for it, where I bought it from, is called Bond Products. This place, oh, there's a website right here too. AATglue.com. But um, I bought more from a website called Bond Products, I'm pretty sure. But I'm running out of this one. But basically all you have to do is get some of it and spread it onto the back with a putty knife. All right, the rug's filled with glue now. I'm gonna let it sit overnight to dry, but um, a quick tip is if you have a fan, 
put it right in front of it and I've done that before and it's dried in like three or four hours but um I'm just gonna let it sit out to dry now because it's getting late but it looks really good and after it's done I'll show you guys how to add another backing like this one this one has like a felt backing I also added like my own tag to it so I'll show you guys that all right the rug's all dry it dries up as like a very hard uh, feeling glue, but it's really sturdy. But now what I'm going to do is cut around the edges, like around this much, all the way around it. And then I'll show you guys me folding it and how I glue. This is the hot glue gun that I use. I bought it from Home Depot just because I wanted a more industrial type one, but I'm sure any hot glue gun will work. And I also got the glue stick from Home Depot as well. I think this was like 20 bucks and the glue sticks are like $4, I think. But you go through a lot of glue sticks using this method, so I would recommend getting extra. Um, but a lot of people, including myself, just use the glue for the backing. So if you're going to keep it for yourself, um, you might want to just use the glue uh, as your final backing. But if you want it to look professional and last even longer, uh, you're going to want to do this method. So first off, what I'm going to do is hot glue just like this. And as you can see here, I cut the edge because if not, then it would kind of not make sense while I'm gluing it if you know what I'm saying, but, um, so what we're going to do is hot glue a decent amount on here. And then fold it over like this. I would recommend if you're clumsy like me, sometimes I am, um, you get burned but luckily it's cold outside right now so my hands are freezing so it's not really burning me uh wear some gloves just to keep yourself from getting burned but yeah all i do is hot glue this whole edge and then after that i'm gonna add another backing as you can see here, I decided to cut smaller sizes for each glued piece because it was cold and the glue was hardening faster. It's easier and probably safer to do this also. But I just go around the whole edge and it finished pretty quickly and I went through like four glue sticks, I think. I'm all done hot gluing the edges of the rug. Now what I'm going to do is put this felt fabric on. I bought this at Hobby Lobby. You can probably buy it at any fabric store, really. Um, I decided to get this color just because it won't show the dirt or anything. At first, I was going to get like a light blue. Um, but I thought this will probably be best because in the long run, uh, it'll look professional. And if it gets dirty at all, it'll be hard to notice. So what I'm going to do is lay this onto it and cut it to size, and then I'll show you how I stick it on. I bought this adhesive at a Home Depot, but um, it works for fabrics. And I know in at Walmart they have like a Gorilla Glue spray adhesive that works for fabrics too. So any spray adhesive really will work the best. Um, so what I'm going to do first is spray adhesive this on to the back of this rug and usually I spray until like around here and then afterwards I'm gonna lay the fabric onto it. Now that I'm spraying the spray adhesive a quick tip is to put more than one layer on just because one layer itself will just dry up quickly in my opinion. Now I put the fabric on. As you can see, there's a little slice on that left side, but I made it work. Then I roughly cut around the edges because I'm gonna recut around it a little bit later. All right, now that it's all spray adhesived on, I cut roughly around the edges. So what I'm gonna do next is hot glue all these edges where I didn't spray. And this will keep it nice and sturdy.
So this part took me about three or four glue sticks to finish. So that makes a total of around seven or eight glue sticks in total. So yeah, just make sure to buy extra glue sticks if you're gonna do this process. There's a few other ways to do it, but I just found this way to be the easiest. If you know any faster way that you do it, please let me know so I can share it with other people too. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe for more videos like this. If you want to check out my website to get started making your own rugs, go to imakerugs.com. I also have free downloads on there to make your own frame and to do a few other things. Alright, talk to you guys later. Bye!